As we exited the Pacific Northwest, we left with an appreciation for the rainforest and a yearning to get into the Northern Rockies. They had been calling us, and it was finally time to pay heed. Glacier. So we've been here a couple days so far. Um, we actually were camped on the west side for a night and it was really Disneyland and uh, super crowded. So we got the hell out of that and pushed to the east side and we are currently on a forest service road and uh, found this spot here on the side of the road to get set up and uh, not even close to level, so I had to do quite a bit to get it level, but as you can see, those views are amazing. <laughs> Plan is to crash here for the night. We have a campsite reserve for the next two nights in the east side. Um, it's got showers and stuff like that, and it's in a park, so um, you have to camp in those campgrounds. So, got those. We're gonna check this out. I know there's a ton of good hiking here, we're back in bear country, so our heads are on a swivel again. Still rookies at that, I guess. And then go from there. So not sure what you're going to see next or where we'll be or what we're going to be doing, but as long as the views are like that, then, uh, then we're doing good. So hope you're all doing well and having a good day or a good morning or good evening, wherever you are, and uh, are enjoying your time. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. The morning came too quickly, and though we pushed the thoughts away, we could feel that our time in the West would soon be coming to a close. But all that could wait. Today, we sought a glacier. Grinnell Glacier is perhaps the most photographed glacier in the park, and the hike to it, perhaps the most beautiful. At each stop, we debated what was more breathtaking, the scenery or the elevation. Consensus was finally reached. It was the former.
Topping out, we sat by the chalky blue meltwater and contemplated how long that glacial melt had been trapped and how long it had been since it fell from the sky. Eventually, it was time to catch our ride home. So uh, what we have this afternoon is Jenny's going to be driving the truck for the first time. Righty, hold on. <laughs> so <kidding. All> right. <laughs> I can't even. Right. I'm scared. Why don't you swing on over here? So what do you think so far? Easy. This is the first time that you've been in the passenger seat. Is it? This, this is the first time you've been in the passenger seat this entire year. It is. And it's August 1st. It feels good. Just don't wreck this thing. I'm doing 41 out of 45. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is nice. And we're off. All right, well, good morning. So, you guys saw that last hike that we did to Grinnell Glacier, the most berry place on earth. Yes. Didn't see a single bear. <laughs> and today we're gonna do one called- Second biggest bear place. <laughs> yeah, that was actually closed down the other day of bears. because of bears frequenting. I don't know. I just don't think we've got the bear juju. <laughs> don't say that. Uh, no. All right, well, let's see what this one has. Supposedly it's a hike to a nice alpine lake. Down. And, uh, and down to a nice alpine lake and then back up from an alpine lake. Dan's gonna hear from me on the way back up. Uh, kate, 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 kate. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this, Dan. I hate you. Why'd I even do this? <laughs> All right, well, let's see what this one has in store for us. Stepping onto the boardwalk, I thought we had made a huge mistake and had found the booger picker to end all booger pickers. Luckily, as elevation was gained and the air thinned, so too did the crowds. And it was at that point that we thought we had somehow been transported to the Alps. Can you hear those drums? I can hear drums. I do. But you know what our buddy Alan says? How you go, how you get? How you go, how you get? Hell yeah.
final payoff, the ice-cold waters of Hidden Lake. All right, so surprise, surprise. Uh, we left Glacier and decided that as we're heading south, we're going to spend a couple more days in Yellowstone. Yellowstone. So what a magical place this place was for us earlier this year. And we just said we've got to come back. Yes. So the plan will be... To see wolves. Sea wolves. We're going to hit Lamar, hit Hayden, and the other places that wolves frequent and see if we can't spot wolves again. Yay. So. Awesome. All right. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Wolf watching, or any wildlife watching for that matter, is tuna fishing on land. To have the best chance, you have to be up early and be on the spot at gray light. In Yellowstone, that spot is Lamar Valley. Dawn came and went with no joy. We were about to move when off in the distance we caught a glimpse of movement. It was the pack's previous alpha female, and she had been recently jettisoned from the pack for bad behavior. While it was quick, we had seen our wolf for the day, and it was time to move on. Moving down the valley, it was obvious that the bison were in heat. At one stop, we watched as the bulls gave chase to a female. One by one, they dropped off until there was only one who had the strength to keep up. This no doubt ensures that only the strongest genetics are passed on. By mid-morning, we were growing tired, but something caught my eye. He's coming out right now. There had been one animal that had proved elusive for us. No matter where we went, we had always missed out. We were bare kryptonite until today. We spent the better part of an hour watching the grizzly meander around the valley and were surprised at how relaxed it was and how wary it was of other animals. While certainly powerful and certainly dangerous, it wasn't the mindless, bloodthirsty beast that nightmares are made of. Second Yellowstone trip in the books, we pushed on to parts unknown. Until next time, be well.